Welcome! Today I want to make an unboxing from Seed CIO or CIO NRF52840 PCB. It's a really small piece of PCB and it has an NRF52840 on, uh, on board. So you see here it's quite small, yeah? We do the unboxing and I will show you why it's such an interesting piece of work for us because first you see here it's quite small it has an NIF52840 so this means this can Bluetooth and when we can use later NIF connect SDK also a thread yeah you see here a few pins down there and it has USB C so not micro USB or something like this so it's really nice and small. There exist two versions of the seat uh, GIO and a F52840. One with the name Sense at the end. It has additional also an IMU and a microphone. Um, but I have here only the normal version. So you see here we have our Nordic and a F52840 chip and an additional two megabyte um, QSPI flash. This is since we uh, don't have a programmer on it, like with a developer kit from Nordic. Um, so you can with a bootloader store the new uh, firmware and then flash it over. And we have the usual interface, UART, I2C, SPI. And there's also a programming interface at the back, but the pins are quite small if you want to soldering something. There's normally a special adapter where you can use a chailing. But like I said, there is a bootloader and the bootloader uh, understands uh, the UF2 um, format so from Arduino so we can, can just transfer later the file like on a flash drive. Yeah? We will see how it's working. You can use this with Arduino and then also with the NIF Connect SDK. They will be compiled in UF2 file and we can transfer it then later. <coughs> so, What's also interesting, there is one uh, special chip on it, a charging chip, um, where you can uh, connect a uh, LiPo, so a lithium polymer um, battery. This is we having here on the back. You see it here. We're having here two pins, the battery pins, and there we can solder a uh, LiPo and can directly charge this with USB. And uh, yeah, it's really uh, amazing. We will try this later. So on top on the board, you're seeing we're having here a reset button. Uh, we're having a charging uh, LED and a user LED with three colors. Then here is our chip and the IMU if we have the Sense version. Uh, then there is an antenna already. And here is a microphone when you're having the Sense version. Here you're seeing the pin out. Yeah, um, this is from the NIF uh, 52840. The pins. Yeah, um, we're having here our I square C and uh, SPI, uh, and um, of course we can also take here um, the voltage from this for our devices when we want to connect the sensor or something else. On the back, you seeing also here we having our programmer interface, <coughs> but it's really a little bit difficult to reach normally. Like I said, there's something like needle uh, uh, needles where you can then program. It's a special adapter for the J link. Here you can connect the batteries and uh, NFC. Here we having the schematics from our device. Yeah, uh, the USB connection and. So I'm you if you have the sense version and the microphone. Here's uh, the three color LED. But what's really interesting is this part here. Um, this is from Texas Instruments, the BQ25100. So this is for charging the LiPo battery. And uh, it can charge with the connection here. You set it with iSET. And we're having here two resistors, 2.7 kilo ohm. And um, when one is only connected, you can charge it with um, 50 milliampere. And when um, you 
makes this pin here also P um, GPIO 0 po um, pin 13 on low, then um, you set it to 1 milliampere as a charging current. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is really interesting. So when we plug our device in, you see in the device manager, we will get um, directly a COM5 port in this case, or a serial, serial COM port. Yeah. And when you're clicking here two times the uh, reset button, which is really difficult, then uh, you're seeing here it's become a um, um, flash drive. And um, when we're looking at this flash drive here, there is a current uh, current firmware UF2. Yeah, you can later just transfer this firmware. I think when you click one time again, then it's going into the normal mode again. Yeah, zero port five com five. There's a getting started page uh, from Seed. Yeah, uh, we find it here Seed Studio. GRO BLA, and there's an example how you installed it on the Arduino IDE. So um, we can program it with Arduino and at the same time, then also with the Nordic NRF Connect SDK. So it's really uh, nice. So for this, we have to add first um, uh, a URL for additional board manager. So this JSON file here, we go there under files, preferences, and there. You copy this link. Yeah. Okay. Make OK. And afterwards, we are searching our yeah O fifty two boards. This one here. So the installation process always takes a while, and now we can let uh, the LED blinking. So we're going on example, on basic example, go on a blink example. And of course we have to choose our right board. Yeah? Uh, for this we're going to board seat NIF52, so NIF52840. And um, we have also to select the COM port, and sometimes it's not there, especially when you flash it already, then you have to click two times the reset button, so that it's going in the bootloader mode. Yeah. And then you can also directly select it from here, you're seeing COM6 now, and <coughs> the program itself just making the built-in LED as output, and then setting it to high and in the interval from one second to low again and so on. <coughs> now we can directly upload it and flash it. And when the flash is finishing, it takes a while. <coughs> You're seeing then that the red LED is blinking. On the same way, we can control the other LEDs. Yeah, when you're clicking here, you can go to uh, the macro. Um, the LED pin LED is the red one, and um, if you're seeing here, the red one is at pin 11, blue one at pin 12, and green one at 13. So we can also use the name instead of LED built-in, LED red and exchange it now also to blue, for example. Yeah. So the blue one is lightning. So before you are transferred, don't forget to push two times the button so that it's going in bootloader modus and then upload it to our device. When it's finished, you're seeing now not the red one, the blue one is lightning. Yeah, same you can make with the green one. Um, always remember, normally it's that uh, the 
LEDs on pin GPIO0 26, GPIO0 and uh, pin 30, and GPIO0 and pin 6. But Arduino has uh, other numbering yeah, they're using normally. So numbers here you're seeing also um, until the 11, uh, 10 and then the LED will be uh, at 11, 12 and 13. Now is the question if, if we can do the same thing with NIF Connect with Visual Studio and for this we're creating a new application. We're using the Blink example, Blinky, selected making it to here O Blinky, the name creates the application. And when this is done, um, looking that we are making as a build configuration, we are choosing for this one, so here O, here E here, and just build it. After the build is done, we can not directly, uh, of course, flash it from uh, Visual Studio since um, it can only be flashed via the bootloader. We don't have a J-Link like with the developer kit. <coughs> so we uh, have first to go on uh, our NF Connect SDK li um, um, directory, uh, our project and the GRO project, the build and save here. And there you're seeing with the build there's also a UF2 file. So we just copy it and um, we have of course to click two times at our reset button to bring our device into bootloader mode. So here it's in the bootloader mode, then we're going on F and just paste it here. Yeah? Uh, even when it's current F, it will be uh, directly uh, a current UF2, it will override the one. Yeah, you're seeing now the red LED is blinking and not the uh, blue one anymore. And uh, when we're looking what's happened with the source code here, it's using the LED zero here. And when we're looking at the device tree, LED zero is the red one. When we want to make the green one, for example, we just exchange it in the main with LED one. As the rest we can let, I think, even when the names are not fitting anymore. Then I make another build. Yeah, here we're seeing Sephir UF2. We're going again in the directory. My project CRO. Oops. Build. Save here UF2. Copy it and then bring our device again in the bootloader mode. Going on device F. Paste it here. And then you're seeing that this time the green LED is lightning. So you see we have here a really nice part of hardware. Yeah? We're getting the most interfaces out um, via the pins. Yeah, we're having I2C, SPI, uh, ADC and a few GPIOs. We have a built-in LED. Um, we have say also USB-C which is really charming. So I like it a little bit more than the micro USB. Um, really nice is also that we can connect a LiPo there, um, which is then charged over USB. I mean, I didn't try it yet, I just ordered one, so uh, I'm really interested how it's working since then we can power it um, after we charge it directly from the battery. Yeah, I hope you'll learn a little bit from this video and don't forget to give the video a thumb up if you like it and see you the next time.